Jaden, where are you originally from? <clears throat> I'm from San Bernardino, California. Okay. What's up, man? My name is Michael. I work in TV here in Baton Rouge. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Uh, we'll start from the beginning, I guess. Just kind of take us through and, uh, and, and tell us a, about your, your journey to this point, right? And why LSU? Why did it fit you? And, and what are you hoping to do here now that you're a Tiger? <clears throat> yeah, just my journey. Um, you know, I went to Arizona State, obviously, for three years. Uh, decided to make the, the transfer, uh, make the best decision for me and my future. Um, you know, just the opportunity to come here, uh, the opportunity that presented itself, you know, to come in and compete at the highest level uh, against, you know, the best conference in the, in the college football, the SC West. So to be able to go here, be able to be around the talent that matches uh, where I'm trying to go and where I'm trying to be. Um, so that's why, was, that's the reason why I chose to come here. How's the fall going for you so far? Obviously a lot of competition, a little less right now, but uh, you and Garrett, you know, doing a good job. And, and I guess just where's your progression in the fall versus where you want it to be in two weeks? <clears throat> yeah, um, I mean, coming in the spring, the uh, main thing for me is, you know, trying to get my feet wet, you know, coming in a new locker room, uh, around new people, new environment. So, you know, from there to now fall, uh, is just uh, when I first came here, you know, trying to kind of just make my way in, uh, try to just be myself, uh, get to know the guys. So now that I know the guys, uh, you know, just starting to build on those relationships. That's probably the biggest thing for me from when I first came here and now fall is just building those relationships. So at the end of the day, uh, they, they could trust me. I could trust them, you know, it's just building that family uh, bond. Tell me about the football though. What, what, are, what are they making you better at, I guess? Yeah, I mean, uh, just keep, uh, not just me, but keeping all the quarterbacks on our P's and Q's. Um, you know, uh, we have a great room. Uh, it doesn't matter who's going to start here. I know that we all helped each other prepare uh, the best that we can, you know, to go out there and help the team win. So for me personally, just come here and, uh, you know, teaching nuts and them the things I have, just in case, you know, they are the starter, uh, that they, they can learn from older guys that play some, some years, you know, they're great players, uh, great guys. So uh, really just on that leadership part. Have they told you you're the starter yet? They haven't, they haven't announced anything. It, was it a case of kind of, hey, I'm betting on myself here because you, Tempe's a pretty nice place, right? Arizona State, nice place. You, you were a starter there. Now you come here where it's kind of uh, unknown, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's always, you know, no matter where you go, it's always the better on yourself. Um, you know, I, I know what I present to the table. Um, it's, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter who they start. You know, I, they, it's a great quarterback room. It's one of the top quarterback rooms in the, in the country. So, you know, we got talented guys all around. So I just uh, want to help prepare them help them prepare me, because at the end of the day, um, whoever they call to be the starter, that's going to be the starter. Did you really run 21 miles an hour in the spring? I heard that. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. They track your speed at practice every day. Yeah, they do. Uh, that was probably one of the, uh, yeah, I ran 21 miles per hour. That's what Coach Kelly had told me. Uh, I mean, I look at that type of stuff, but, you know, I just go out there and run. Dude, how, how much of your game and being here at LSU right now is about not being a runner? I mean, do you feel like there's this label on you that, you know, you tuck it too quick and you run too fast and you're inaccurate? Are those the things that you're trying to prove are not true? Do you feel like you're, you're addressing those areas if they are true? I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. But I mean, I, I hear at yeah. the end of the day, you know, uh, everybody has cell phones and stuff like that, so it's going to pop up. But um, just being here, you know, just the main thing is just being the best version of me. Um, if that if that's a part of my game, you know, running. Uh, I mean, it's times where I could stay in there a little bit longer. Uh, something that we've been working on, Coach Kelly, you know, Denbrock, uh, Coach Sloan, with all those type of things. Uh, but that's not just me, that's just everybody. You know, they don't want us to lose who we are at the end of the day, what makes us what we are, uh, how we got here. So, I mean, it's just fine tuning the little things so at the end of the day we can go out there and help the team win. Coach uh, Denbrock talked about your footwork and I guess being on platform when you throw. I mean, just how much of that has really been emphasized in the fall? Or or is it more about playbook and kind of the camaraderie that you talked about earlier? <clears throat> I feel like um, just those type of things, you know, that's uh, stuff I had to address on my own in the summer uh, after spring. Uh, you know, we got those couple months to go out there, you know, uh, build the chemistry with guys, fine tune, uh, go back and work on the little things. So uh, when it comes to fall, it's all about football. It's all about executing plays. Uh, getting the offense right uh, so we could be where we want to be uh, once uh, September 4 comes. What what do you think needed the most improvement from your passing numbers last year? And is Joe Sloan and Brian Kelly and Den Brock, are they doing, what, what do you think they're doing to help improve those numbers? <clears throat> I mean, they just, uh, you know, keeping me on my toes, uh, you know, correcting me uh, when they feel like I need to be corrected, but also, you know, kind of stepping back and letting me figure stuff out. Because at the end of the day, you know, um, 
the best you got to self correct yourself because on the field you know they're not going to be out there yelling in your ear so just going out there you know just figuring out the little things that's why i said the work that i put in the summer uh that's going to help me uh translate to the fall i, uh, I was going to say i believe the offense coordinator and the quarterback coach were the same person how what is it like uh having two people with specific roles and having both of them to help you. Yeah, I mean, uh, Coach Sloan, you know, it's a blessing having somebody that's solely just focused on you. You know, an office coordinator, you know, has to look at the grand scheme of the whole offense. Um, you know, they got to worry about the, the receivers, the tight ends, and every little thing and every little detail. You know, Coach Sloan is uh, in there just to simplify us and make sure that we do our job and, you know, we don't break the rhythm of the office because at the end of the day, that's, that's the whole thing for us is control what we control, uh, don't turn over the ball and, and keep the rhythm of the offense. Jaden, what are some of your best attributes as a football on the field? I guess how would you, your, you know, building your resume? What would you put at the top of it? Yeah, um, probably intelligence. Intelligence would probably be the first one. You know, especially playing the position I have to be, you got to be intelligent. Um, you know, just go out there. You know, just my my character at the end of the day. You know, my personality. The guys that tell you in the locker room. Uh, you know, I'm uh, an easygoing guy. You know, somebody that you can come talk to, you come trust, uh, and it's just a playmaking ability. You know. Being a quarterback, you know, is, is one thing, but be able to, to make plays uh, within the framework of the offense, you know, is something I, I can bring to the table. Have you seen the defenses? I mean, I know it's just practice and you're just seeing one team, but does it look different? Does it feel quicker, faster, bigger, stronger? Uh, I mean, if it's, it's kind of the same. You know, I played a couple games in college uh, before. Uh, I would say the biggest thing, the, the biggest transition from, you know, Pac-12 to now is just the trenches. You know, just this, uh, everything in the South is, is obviously bigger. You know, the trenches, those guys, you got guys like Mason Smith running around. So uh, that's probably the, just the biggest thing for me. I watched some of your touchdown runs last night, and you're pretty wide open. Once you, once you get past the line, it was yeah, I mean, pretty uh, wide open back there. You know, that's something I just try to do, uh, you know, within the framework of the offense. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, yeah. come out here, you know, you got to uh, be who I, who I am. Don't change who I am, but, you know, just play within the offense. How important do you feel this uh, the scrimmage is Wednesday in terms of you know, the quarterback competition? And, you know, we're hitting mid-August now, so it's kind of getting close. Uh, I mean, you just go out there, uh, you know, us in the quarterback room, we don't really look at it as a competition. You can look at it as another opportunity to go out there and get better and help the team get better because at the end of the day, we run the offense. Uh, the coach is going to be on the sidelines and the skybox. At the end of the day, everything is solely focused on us. So uh, we look at it as, you know, how can we help the offense and, uh, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, everybody's uh, prepared to play the position and prepared to be the starter. You know, that's all we worked on. Uh, that's the relationship that we all built um, to go out there. But I feel like Wednesday, as a team overall, it's going out there to see, uh, just see us compete. You know, at the end of the day, we got to compete. Uh, we got a game in two weeks around there. So be able to go out there and just have that, that feeling of a scrimmage uh, is a big thing for us. Yeah, you got nine, 19 days left. What, what are one or two things that you want to? really focus on your game to improve? Uh, really just go out there and uh, keep keep building uh, the leadership part because at the end of the day, you can never not be a leader at the quarterback, at the quarterback position. Um, make sure that we get uh, the guys going in one direction. Uh, you know, a couple guys might go left. We got to get everybody going left. A couple guys might go right. You got to get everybody going right. So make sure everybody's on the same page before, uh, you know, we go out there and play Florida State. Thank you, Jaden. Thanks, man.